What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today. We are back on some MX Simulator, and just having a look through the old tracks thread, seeing what might pique my interest today. As you know, I am a bit of a enduro lover on these MX games, and I saw this, this was released by Jesse MX 67 not too long ago, but not the most recent of tracks, and it is just called, oh, don't crash please, oh, it's gone, it's just called Red Plate Enduro Cross. So, we're going to give it a go. I feel like there's probably going to be... A hell of a lot of me crashing in this, which I do apologise for, uh, but we should be having a good time nonetheless. Now, some of you might be wondering, Linz, what, what are you doing on, on MX Simulator? Beta 18 is out now on MX Bikes, why aren't you playing it? Again, this is still another video that I've recorded prior to uh, going away. So I, I, I tell you, when I tell you how much I've been grinding on videos Wednesday and Thursday, it's unreal. But I think I must have made like a combined 10 videos in total. So, uh, Hopefully you don't mind, which is why I'm probably on the sim bit as well, because there's only so much you can make on these games without waiting a day or two for more content to come out. But I always love Enduro, regardless of how old the track is, regardless of how long it's been. So hopefully things go very, very smoothly. I've got the reshade back on again today, so again, I apologise for the, the red writing at the top. No idea how to do it properly or get rid of it, because I am not very clever when it comes to PCs. So we're going to try and give this a go. I mean, so far... I only had one legs off. All the other crashes seem to be fairly, um, just like front end tucks, or mostly caused by these logs. I don't know. Is it cheating to kind of go around the outside, Lee's? I feel like I'm, I'll be doing myself dirty if I don't commit to them and go over them. There we go. I'm not sure how timing gates and all that's working on here. Obviously, there's no map, so I don't know if it's a little bit of a half-assed attempt. But the actual base track itself. And the uh, the objects are the logs and the rocks. They all seem to be pretty pretty well placed. So I mean, so far so good. It's just a shame that we've got the, the make a map at the top right. I wait. I, I won't lie. Over all the years that I played this game, even when I, I was in my prime, there wasn't very many enduro races about because not many people really enjoy it. Which I can understand on a game like this. It can be quite frustrating to, to crash, especially if if it happens over and over again. But I do... Oh, hang on. Where am I going now? Let's go this this way. There we go. I do wish that we could just get a massive enduro race on the go at some point. If anyone wants to put it together, let me know, and I'll uh, I'll happily join. Same with uh, MX Bikes. There's just never enough enduro races. There was a very short period where there was some an enduro season on uh, Resolute Kraken's tracks, but after that, it just kind of fizzled out into thin air, which is always, always a shame. I feel like I could use this platform for a, a little bit of good, I suppose, and if there ever was a series like that, I could try and push it out to all the people, get a few more eyes on it, hopefully have a fun time, because some of the most fun times I've had on any game is just setting up a really long enduro track or a difficult track in general, and sitting in Discord, one or two people, and just talking out of our ass for one or two hours or however long it takes to complete it. And it's some of the most fun times you're going to have. God damn it. How did that not give me a legs off? Jesus. Okay. Get up, please. Please. Straight line. Thank you. It's because we're on top of this over under. Top of those always have really weird uh, collisions where they're objects rather than actual rideable terrain. Up and over this bad boy as well. And one more. There we go. And what I really like about Reshade, because I've never had this experience until the last two sim, vid sim videos, sorry, it makes the graphics. Like, I I'm talking like bike and kit graphics, sorry, not, not game graphics makes them really pop and stand out and have much more contrast. And usually if I was running this on just stock sim setup, uh, I wouldn't wouldn't get that benefit. I wouldn't get to enjoy any of that. It would just be pretty, pretty plain colours. So it's definitely a, a transformative thing for me. And I'll probably sound so old because I guarantee that probably 90% of people playing sim already run Reshade anyway. But I have no idea what was wrong with me first time round trying to get it to work. I couldn't. And then obviously this time round, every time I close and reopen the game, I have to completely redo all my settings, so real pain in the ass. But you know, it's uh, it's worth it. It makes it look a hundred times better. And at the end of the day, I, I got this PC around Christmas time for the sake of trying to make good YouTube videos, for everything looking good, no lag. And I feel like I don't really push it to its limit sometimes. And Sim being a very, let's say, poorly optimized game sometimes. I think, strangely enough, can be one of the biggest challenges for it, which is quite sad to say when you can play games like Modern Warfare 2 on full graphics with no issues whatsoever. It's, it's, it is crazy, it's crazy, but 
you can't do much when, when these games are made on these super old engines. And I, I always wonder, in the back of my head, if there is ever going to be an MX Simulator 2 or like an MX Bikes 2, or if they're ever going to be ported over to different game engines, just so track creators and, and modders in general can really make the most of the, the engine's capabilities and just make stuff really breathtaking, because I think that's all that ever holds these games back, is how the game looks. Because feel-wise, they, they're the best games you can get, you know? I would very, very much rather play uh, MX Simulator or MX Bikes over any of the... Like, oh, actually, I don't know if I say any of the MX, MX or SATB games. Anything post-2010... <laughs> Maybe it'll be off that. Anything post 2015, let's say, <laughs> I'd much rather play a play a sim type game. But I think the only thing they ever have going for them really is is the graphics. And I usually when the new games come out, like like when Legends came out or when Supercross Five came out, I get this new new audience of people find my videos, and they always like really really argue for the for the like console games, and always saying, oh. The, these sim games look so terrible in comparison. It's like, well, yeah, but do you know when they were made? Do you know how many people they were made by? And so on and so forth. And I suppose it just depends what sort of person you are, what what games you want to play. But I will always be a uh, motocross simulation type game enjoyer more than I would be a uh, an arcadey type enjoyer. Let's just put it that way. So, what lap am I on right now? I'm on lap three. I feel like we're Popping off laps fairly quickly. I was very happy with how I was getting through the uh, the logs last lap round, coming up on this straight ahead. Uh, some parts of the track, they, it flows really nicely together, you know, like jumping from log to log or section to section, and others are a bit, a bit strange. Uh, the whole point of Endure Across, I suppose, is to, is to challenge people. If it was easy, everyone would do it, which I suppose is why a lot of people don't do it. And again, like, I don't know if... So these rocks to the left of me here, I don't know if they've been placed there as a deterrent for missing these logs, or if they're there as like a, an alternate lane, because obviously you can see, oh, okie dokie. I thought that wall was going to have a collision, so you could completely scumbag it if you wanted to. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that there, there is timing and scoring at the bottom left, so I'm, I'm hoping that the timing gates would take that into account and would give you time penalties or cuts if you were to go outside and around that. I can only hope, I've not played this online, of course. Get up and over, land it, land it, land it. No, oh, god damn it. It's bits like that where it's like, what, should, what am I expected to do there to not, not crash? I've got to hit it fast enough to get up and over the tyres, but slow enough so I don't get a horrible kick sideways. And I feel like you can't can't win. Like, that's nice. Well, that was actually quite nice. I jammed on the back brake when I landed and leant back to try and slow myself down a little bit. Up over this one. Um, please survive. Survive. As long as I don't get... Like, I, I can tuck the front end as many times as I'd like. I really don't mind. It's getting the legs off so that it's really frustrating to me and having to wait those seven to ten seconds each time get through it i also i couldn't imagine trying to play this in first person i imagine that would be incredibly painful should i try and do it for a lap or we end this off let me i'll oh, change my fps real quick god damn it so 80 i need to remember that i was on 83 before because i always forget what setting i'm on up over that here we go round to the right back it up terry and then up and over Stand on the back brake again, turn. I just try to try and hit things in as straight a line as possible. And look at that. As soon as I go into first person, that happens. Oh, but the arms look so good with the reshade on. Looking at my wrist on the left, it like you can actually actually looks like skin. It doesn't just look like a blob of a blob of skin coloured paint from Photoshop. Oh come on. Get me on the track, please. See a sneaky line I could take here as well. Let's go. Oh, we're scumbagging it. Lovely. I'll take any advantage that I can get in first person. Up and over that one as well. I don't, need, I don't know what my gimbal or anything set to. I didn't pay attention when I was changing the FOV, but I think last time I played first person on this game properly was quite some time ago. There we go. And already I can feel myself. As, as I'm turning left and right, I'm tilting my head side to side. I imagine if anybody was to walk in my room and look at me right now, they'd be like, what on earth are you doing? It's so, so funny. But to be fair, the people that play first person normally... I've tuned into a few sim live streams in my time, and a couple of people have face cams, and it's exactly the same. You know, they all they all tilt their head as well. Oh, we get a little triple on the go. Jeez, maybe I'm a first person rider after all. I'm barking the course. Let's, <coughs> let's pretend that that didn't exist. Do, 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 do. What can I do here? I feel like there's. Please die. Please, please, please. Oh, thank God. Jesus Christ. Right, JLV watches me playing. 
and he's just like, hmm, when should I, when should I give him a random legs off? What would be the perfect opportunity? Over this one and that one. It's just about timing, I think, with flipping your front end up and over some of these logs. If you do it a little bit too aggressively, that's when your your back end catches you out. But for the most part, it's okay. And then this, I don't think I've got over this clean once yet, have I? Do it a little bit slower. Oh, back it up, back it up. Can't get the front end straight. There we go. I'll take it. It's, I'll take it. It's not a crash. It's fine. That's the thing that I struggle with in first person a lot of the time is where there's counter steering in this game. It really throws me off like for some reason. I mean, I handle it in third person, no problem at all. But first, it makes it really, really confusing for my small little brain, which it probably shouldn't do. I imagine once you get good at sim in first person, it's actually really, really enjoyable. But it just makes me feel ill after a couple of minutes. I can't, I can't explain it. I don't know why it happens, but it happens. Over that. No! Oh, god damn it. And like here, I'm so confused as to where I am. Like, so, so lost. Where do I even go? But up and over that, please. Please, 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 please. Go, go, go. Thank you. I'm quite shocked because I feel like I'm getting through these laps fairly quickly. But looking down at the, um, the bottom left there, I'm only doing two and a half minute lap times, which is not quick at all. So, don't crash again. Oh, JLV. I hate you so much. Please. I just want to get over the finish line. I want to finish my lap. I've only done four laps and I'm in pain. And round to the left. And oh, no, that one's even slower. God damn it. I just want to try and get a good lap in there. But you know what? This is painful enough as it is. I'm not going to keep tormenting myself with this. If you guys want to play this track, I'll put it down in the uh, description as always. And let me know what lap times you guys run. I'm sure you can do much, much better than I. Probably coming under under the two minute mark, something crazy like that. And I want legit laps, please. No uh, no track cutting, no going around the edge of all the logs and off off the map. I'm, I'm onto you guys. I know your plan. But that oh, I don't. You know what? That'll do it for me. I'm signing off. I hope you've enjoyed. Catch you in the next one. Goodbye.